Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Windows Server 2003 to set up uh, like a domain. So what we're going to install is Active Directory and uh, DNS. I'm not going to install DHCP right now just because I have to set up my network a little better before I start handing out IP addresses and everything. So as per now, this is the first page you see when you logged into Windows Server 2003. Now if by some chance you don't see this page, don't get discouraged, it's very simple to find it. So I'll show you right now, so you just click on start. This is the default start panel right here, so I didn't change anything. You go to administrative tools, and you go down here to manage your server, and you'll get that same screen. So to set up roles on your server, uh, you just simply click this link, and roles are things like Active Directory, uh, DNS, file sharing, print server, all that stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this. And here's like a checklist before you go ahead with the installation, just to make sure you meet the requirements. So you don't go through all this waiting and, you know, you don't have your internet connection plugged in. Or, the major thing, you don't have your setup CD. Okay, so I'm, I meet all these requirements, so I'm just going to hit next. So now it's detecting settings. It's going to run a little wizard after this. Let me choose what I want to install. And I will be going into further detail with this, just not in this video. I'm going to keep, my point is to keep these videos nice and short so I don't lose your attention. And they're labeled, so if you want to know how to like set up an organizational unit, you can just simply click on that video and watch it okay so here I'm just you have to go typical configuration for the first server unless this is your second server in your network you can set up like a print server file server you know an app server but this is my first server so I have to set up Active Directory and DNS so I'm gonna hit next here now I'm gonna name it so this is the name of your uh, domain so name it whatever you want here so for me I'm gonna name it technology dot net okay so you can give yourself any name you know dot local dot whatever you want really okay it's not a web server it's just your domain server your network so that's it or if you're really really curious you can put dot local at the end just want to keep it within your own network. So .NET, hit next. Now it's going to generate a NetBIOS name. And a NetBIOS name is just developed for networks that don't use the TCP IP protocol. Well, protocol suite, I should say. And it's also, this is what will be displayed in, you know, uh, Windows Explorer and my computer. A little tidbit of information there. So hit next here. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward to set this up at first. And here's just a summary of your selection, so you're going to want to hit next. They're in the process, you know, it's going to ask to restart like every Windows system does, so you can't say cancel, so just okay it. And see already, please insert your disk into uh, Windows. I'm just going to pause this here and I will be back when this is done. Okay, so I just installed my CD and pretty much as soon as you close the disk tray, it just brings this up. So now it's just going ahead with the installing of uh, Active Directory or AD as they like to say. And yeah, we're going to get into permissions and file sharing and a whole bunch of fun stuff. Like I said, nice short videos clearly titled so you can find the video you're looking for high def quality said I'm not too good with the terminology of things but you know it's a learning process one year ago I didn't know even what a network was so I've came along quite a ways now I'm showing you guys how to set up a server oh man I wish school was taught this easy for some reason I like to really complicate things while you're in school and you know how they like to just throw these massive textbooks and explain everything like as if you're 
You know, you were the one who wrote the damn program for this. But hell, man. Just keep your head up and study. And there we go. Logging off. So this is after the first restart. So I'm just going to obviously enter my password. It's going to load up. <clears throat> Everything should be good to go now. There you go. Green check marks across the board. I guess I did something right. So I guess just want to hit next here. And you know, server's now configured. Not much more you can do. View the next steps if you want. Kind of brings you up a little cookbook here. But we don't need to read. I'm just going to tell you guys. So hit finish. Alright, so now you, when you go to manage your server, you see a list here of the stuff you have installed on your server. You know, you got Active Directory, your DNS, DHCP. You can access it all through here, which, believe it or not, I would rather just use the other way. So I'm going to close this. And just to show you guys how to actually get to your stuff, you everything's in administrative tools. Nice and easy. And clearly labeled. So what you're going to be getting familiar with is DNS, not so much DHCP for now, uh, an Active Directory users and computers is a big one. This is where you're going to set up all your users. Okay, so just to flip over, once I have this dude set up, he will be a user in here and this is where we're going to do our testing get to make permissions you know block them from going to the internet have fun with it okay guys so stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this little video I know it's not much right now but it will get better thanks guys